All right, so some of you might have already heard, but last week I got a view from North Korea. Some people wanted me to talk about it, so I'm gonna talk about that a little bit here before I jump into the video. Yeah, out of the five years I've been on YouTube, that has never happened. And I've been thinking, you know, I guess there could be technically like four different explanations for it. And uh, let's let's go ahead and talk about all of them. Okay, so maybe it was just a glitch. Maybe something funky happened on the YouTube side of things, or maybe someone from South Korea got really close to the border, and I, I don't know, YouTube just counted it as a North Korean view. I think it's possible. The second explanation is maybe it was a tourist within North Korea itself. I know that's unlikely, but there is a small amount of tourism that, that happens there. If that is the case, please stop. That's a great way to get yourself killed. Please don't watch my shit inside of North Korea. Now, here's the thing. Those first two possibilities, I think, uh, are kind of unlikely, because the video they watched was my best Korea fails video in Civ 6. So that just has me thinking all sorts of things. I, I really, I don't even fucking know. So maybe it was, I don't know, some poor North Korean that somehow got access to the internet. They also didn't even get to finish the whole video. They only watched for two minutes and 46 seconds before their whole family was probably killed. But no, I also don't think that's what happened. I, I seriously doubt it. So that leaves only, you know, one explanation left. Somebody from the North Korean government probably watched this shit. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna get assassinated. I don't even know what I said in this video, to be honest. I can't believe they watched for like three minutes. Maybe they legit were trying to get strategies to how to take over the world. Or maybe it was Kim Jong-un. Maybe he has a thing for little white twinks. All I know is within the first like 50 seconds, you realize this is just a game. So I, I don't know why he kept watching. Nonetheless, to avoid a package that comes to my house with a bunch of white powder in it, I'm gonna do a pro Korean video today. Basically it asks, what if Korea took over Japan? and played that major role in East Asia. Kim Il-sung is back, and I forced him to form the co-prosperity sphere just to keep things from getting too unbalanced. And obviously, if he were to form a team, we all know who his commie sidekick would be. Yeah, so I'm really hoping they do well here, because my life's kinda on the line. I mean, who knows? If this video turns out really good, maybe I'll be getting a new date soon. Oh yeah, and I'm kind of assuming in the 1930s, Korea would've also moved into Manchuria and uh, puppeted these two guys. Yeah, I'm kind of assuming communism is gonna have a pretty good game since, uh, yeah, East Asia will be helping out now. You know what else kind of makes this weird is I've made videos about North Korea throughout my entire time on YouTube. Whether it's in Civ 5, EU4, obviously Hoi4, none of those got any views. I don't know, maybe it was the thumbnail, maybe it was putting best Korea instead of just North Korea. Yeah, okay, this doesn't even matter anymore. We've seen this happen so often. Well, there's a, a possible member for either two communist factions. All right, well, I can't pronounce your name, but you guys messed up pretty badly. Usually in the Road 56 mod, they tend to go after Mao, but I feel like it always ends in a peace deal, so I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh, and with the Netherlands joining, that obviously means the East Indies have joined the Allies as well. That won't make it easy for Korea. I don't know if they planned on moving down here, but who knows? Oh yeah, the Chinese Soviet Republic is starting to dominate over here. Although, I don't think there are any Korean divisions. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they won't have military access to get over here. Mao, I, I don't know what you're about to do, but this is probably not a good idea. You only got like 11 divisions and you're trying to get into another conflict? Korea's not gonna be able to help you out that much. Plus, I'm pretty sure they're just focused on building nukes. It don't matter what year it is. Oh, okay, yeah, you know what? This is a much, much better plan. Definitely focus on this. You tend to have trouble here. Fuck, I'm gonna get killed now. <laughs> this is gonna be my last video, isn't it? Oh, Germany's gonna have to go after Austria. They weren't down to just get annexed. Okay. Oh, I guess Hungary's involved as well? What's going on here? I know they're both fascists, and like always, I was not even paying attention to the factions. So, we've got the Balkan Entente, they're not involved in uh, that war now, and then of course the French have done their own thing. So that makes three communist factions in this game. It's a miracle! This peace treaty has finally ended in an annexation. And this is also big news for the Koreans. This faction is slowly growing in strength. I don't know if they're ready to take on China just yet, but maybe. I still don't know why Kimmy isn't helping out Willem Dafoe, it's just the French commune. Also, why the fuck is Mexico here? Don't you got something better to do? Like, stopping drug cartels? Of course, this war's popped up again. Siam is going after this click nation. I really wish there was an event that caused unrest in French Indochina. It'd be cool to see a couple revolutions pop up. Yeah, I can already tell this video is gonna be insane. Of course, we have the faction that we formed between the Koreans and Mao, but then in Europe, it just uh, continues to get more and more wild. The Middle Eastern team is formed, as always. And then don't forget about the Swiss. They want to do something too. God damn it, Mao. Okay, this is this is bad. This is really bad. This is definitely going to cause a war between the two big communist factions. So that's great. That is, of course, if it happens. He might not do anything about it. I was hoping they would join the co-prosperity sphere, though. There you go. And as soon as I said that, oh man, I need to shut the hell up. All right, next question is, will Stalin let them in? It looks like no. Oh yeah, no, definitely not. All right, yeah, maybe it won't be that bad. 
at least it seems like it. And while that's happening, we've got Benito going after Greece. I think it's safe to assume they might join the Allies, potentially. And of course, Adolf is about to go after Poland in about 10 days. What else is new? I guess this is going to be the faction to worry about. This is quickly becoming the strongest communist faction in the game. Yep, because they also got Poland. So that means Romania, Czechoslovakia, Greece, and France are all in on it. You know, I was really curious to see what these guys would do. I guess I should have expected this. Siam is fascist, so they're just going to join the Axis. All while tensions continue to increase in Asia, China annexed Tibet, and I doubt that'll be the last. Also, things seem to be going really well for Adolf. I think he's going to be fine, for the most part. Of course, you just can't have a chaotic faction game without the three brothers showing up. So if I'm counting correctly, this makes the ninth team. Although some are about to be destroyed. How's communism doing in the new world? Any sort of popularity growing within these countries? No? Oh, Cuba. There you go. I'm sure no one's surprised there. There you go, Benito. Actually doing something for once. Single-handedly just taking France while the Nazis are distracted. Oh, Stalin, you messed up. He's going after Finland, and Finland joined the Allies. I guess he's at war with all of the Nordic countries. I, I didn't see when that happened. Anyways, that's not good for Papa Joe. And that was quick. We already have the Treaty of Warsaw. Germany took 46 states. Italy somehow took more. Who would have thought you put Korean power and Mussolini isn't a fucking idiot anymore? Yep, yeah, because he took over all of France and Greece. Maybe he feels like he actually has to do something since there's no longer a friend with multiple chins over this way. Oh, that's weird. That is very strange. Never seen this Chinese faction join the Allies, which now I just realized the Siamese are responsible for these two going to war. Oh, well, that was sweet of Mao. He didn't completely destroy this nation, so they're still alive over here. Also, I noticed that Tenotuva once again went fascist. So there you go. The common turn is incredibly weak right now. They don't have the likes of the Tenu Tuvan Nationalist Republic on their side. All right, Kim, I'm starting to get a little bit worried. You haven't really done much in this video. You realize that my life is in your AI hands, right? This really could be my last video ever if you don't do some shit. There you go. Franco has joined the Axis, so that'll help them finish the Spanish Civil War. Yeah, because surprisingly, it was still going on. I think they really were getting a lot of help over here. Well, I totally missed this. Uh, for some reason, the U.S. is invading Mexico, even though Mexico isn't even part of a faction. Come on, FDR, don't be like that. Mexico's a fine place. Leave them alone. Fuck Mexico! No Operation Barbarossa in this video. Blame Republican Spain for the common turn Axis War. And within the span of about three months, the New World decided to pick a side and join some sort of faction. Even if it doesn't make any sense. Wow, just like that, Finland, Sweden, Denmark, they've all been destroyed. There's also going to be a new front between the Germans and the Soviets, just right here in Sweden. There it is. Okay, so here's the conflict we've all been waiting for. China versus Korea. And I'm assuming Mao will get involved as well. This is going to be interesting because I don't know if he can stand up to not align China for that long. They're going to need some Korean backup here as soon as possible. Oh, it's going to be fine. Clearly, the AI is much better at invading China than I am. So at this point, just about every single nation in the old world is at war. Even the uh, Middle East, just between Arabia and the Assyrian Empire. And as I said, the New World's pretty much on fire as well. Except for Brazil. I think Brazil's, yeah, pretty chill. Damn, this is bad. That Korean faction is just dominating. They didn't stand a chance. Also, the biggest change I've noticed with Korea controlling everything, instead of Japan, is they obviously focus way more on their army. I don't even think they have a navy at this point. They just focus on the land part of their military. Which I think makes sense, because they don't start off on an island. Oh shit, and it looks like Hitler's about to fall. I wasn't really paying attention to this front too much, but uh, clearly, things aren't going too well. Oh, you know, I was worried about that. I, I kind of figured Mao was just going to take everything. But, I mean, I guess he should. There's definitely some more uniting that could happen over here. It's still kind of a huge mess. Also, is this faction going to join in on uh, one of the wars? Maybe against the Allies? As well as, since there was a peace treaty, China and Korea can go back to supporting Stalin. I mean, they were going to win this war either way, but it it's still going to help speed it along. Yeah, I guess that is the next logical step. Why not, guys? Good job. Damn, this is all the communist countries think about. They just want to join the common turn. No one wants to be friends with Kimmy. Oh my god, you fucking idiots, Korea. What are you thinking? Wait. Wait, wait, no. This is not the right time. Uh, it's beautiful, guys. Really. It truly is a work of art. Please spare me. Well, there you go. So the Himalayan Empire, or otherwise known as Nepal, went fascist. They just joined the Axis because Mao is attacking them. Which now means this entire region is at war with the fascist team. Damn, that's like the last major nation to not be at war. Brazil joined the common turn, and Argentina joined the Three Brothers. There's the final peace deal. For some reason, the UK took 76 states. Why, why did they get most out of the fall of the Axis? I'm pretty sure Stalin did more work, but uh, maybe not. Yeah, this is only an allied peace deal. Yeah, I don't know what the hell that was, because Papa Stalin still has control over most of Europe at the moment. 
I guess we'll just wait for another peace treaty then. Well, that can't be good. The Russian Federation just popped up. Right in the middle of World War II. All right, no, never mind. We're gonna have to stop right there. The performance of this game, oh shit, it's struggling. <laughs> it is really bad. I I'm assuming it's because of all the wars that are going on. That's just a theory. I, I don't know for sure. But judging by the map, yeah, that's probably it. I guess we'll see if the North Korean government was satisfied by this campaign. If I don't make another video, clearly they weren't. Also, has anyone else noticed I've gotten progressively sicker throughout this video? Oh god, they might have already got to me. <coughs> I gotta go. And of course, big thanks to Matthew King, Wyon, Hitler didn't demonetize, Furry Cruz, Rucifer Acation, Nick Tang, Matthew Ellis, Lavender Sheep, Stormblade, Elfie, Hayden the Exile Brown, Jung Cooks Bay, Elijah Senpai, and finally, Drew, you didn't say my last name. If you want to support me, you can find a link down below.